This year's State of Tobacco Control report has just been released by the Arizona Lung Association and Arizona earned mostly failing grades while California received mostly perfect grades. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez shares in what areas the state of Arizona failed and how it can improve. The report looks at five different areas that have been proven to prevent and reduce tobacco use and help save lives. Tobacco use is the number one cause of preventable disease and death um, across the country, but also here in Arizona. Arizona received F's in funding for state tobacco prevention programs, level of state tobacco taxes, and ending the sale of all flavored tobacco products. California received two C's and a B in those categories. The Arizona American Lung Association says this year's goal is to work with Arizona lawmakers to make changes. And Arizona is one of a handful of states without a tobacco retail license, making it impossible to track where tobacco is being sold and leaves the state without effective tools to hold retailers accountable. Currently, Arizona has a tobacco tax of $2 for a pack of cigarettes, but not a state tax on e-cigarettes or vaping products. The American Lung Association says that there are more benefits in taxing products on top of saving lives. It's really a missed key item that we can tax, again, to um, help youth not start or initiate and raise revenue for the state. Dr. Jamie Garfield, professor of thoracic medicine and surgery at the Temple Lung Center, says smoking tobacco affects more than just your lungs. So, um, uh, diabetes, hypertension, stroke, cardiovascular disease, all of these things, smoking is, is probably the number one risk factor for the development of many, many diseases. Arizona did get a B for strict smoke-free workplace laws and a C for coverage and access to services to quit tobacco. Well, California got an A in both. Garfield also mentioned one in three cancer deaths are caused by smoking cigarettes. Reporting in studio, Valeria Rodriguez, News 11.